thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to do some field work. And we do field work so that we can go out in the field and we can see places in real life because that's what geography is all about. So today I'm in Eton in Norwich and we're going to have a go and do some field work which compares Eton with Mile Cross. And we're going to do something called an environmental quality survey. So an environmental quality survey makes a judgment as to how good the environment is in two areas. And I'm going to do this with you, okay, via video. So this is a environmental quality survey form. So the way it works is it has a little box up here where you write a general description of the area. And then what you're going to do is rate each of these different things on a scale of one to five or naught to five. Naught is poor quality and five is good quality. So the first thing I'd like you to do is I'd like to just have a look round. Okay, have a look at the street. Have a look along the road. And now you're going to come back to me and what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at doing this together. So in terms of general description of the area, I'm not going to fill all this in, but you might be putting things down like the road is quite wide, that you can see lots of trees and lots of bushes and hedges, that the houses are quite big, uh, there's cars parked along the roads, but the houses have driveways. These are the sorts of things you might be writing in this box here. Now let's have a go at completing the survey. So it says high density, many properties, not much space. Well, if I look around, I'd say that actually... I wouldn't say it's a rural environment where there's hardly any properties, but I'd say there's quite a lot of space. So let's give this a four. Okay, you have to make a judgment as to what you think it would be. So you just tick the box that you think it would be. Is it badly designed and ugly or is it well designed and pleasing to the eye? Once again, it's a subjective decision. Have a look around, see what you think. I quite like it. I think the environment's quite natural. The road's quite wide. So once again, I'm going to give that a four. Okay, then you look at the next one. No maintenance, no evidence of improvements, evidence of maintenance and improvements. Well, it looks quite well maintained to me. Look at the hedges in the gardens. They've all been trimmed. There's no rubbish. So I'm going to actually say that it's really well maintained. I'm going to give that a five. Can we see any vandalism or graffiti or no vandalism or graffiti? Um, I can't personally see any. So I'm going to give that also a five. Traffic. Parking is difficult. Most vehicles will be parked on the road. Well, that's true. There are a couple of vehicles parked on the road, but most of the houses have quite big driveways. So over here, you've got the opposite, parking available in garages or driveways. So I'm probably going to say that it's, um, it's probably a four because there's a few vehicles on the road. Air smells of traffic fumes. No smell of car fumes. Well, actually, this road is relatively busy, but it's, it's, I wouldn't say it smells of car fumes. So maybe if we go... For a, a three for this then we've got high noise volume from traffic well you can hear i'm having to talk quite loudly over the top top of the traffic so i'd actually say it was a little bit noisy here um but not as noisy as it could be dangerous for people to be on the road safe for people to be near the road well i'd say it's relatively safe so we'll go for a four there open space and gardens no garden, no open space, large gardens or open space outside houses. Right, well, if you have a look around these houses, these houses have got massive gardens at the back and they've got quite a lot of space in the front too. So I'd say there is quite a lot of space. I'm going to give it a four. I suppose, you know, you could have a mansion in the countryside with more space. Um, garden, open space in poor condition or is it well maintained? Well, I'd say they're very well maintained. Greenery. Okay, well, we can see, we've already mentioned this, there's quite a lot of greenery in this area. No public parks or open space, public parks, open space. Well, there is an area down here behind me, and there's also a bowling green just opposite. So there are areas of open space, and there is a park just down the road as well. Um, so let's give that a four. Um, litter or no litter? I can't see any litter at all. Um, paths poorly maintained or well maintained. I, mean, I wouldn't say they're. I wouldn't say they're brilliant because they could do with resurfacing, but they're not that bad. Maybe we'll give that a three. Area is desirable or undesirable. I'd say this area is highly desirable. And is it unwelcoming or welcoming? Well, we've had a couple of people walk past and they've all said good morning. So I'm going to say that it's quite welcoming in this area. 
So once you've done this, you can then add up the total score. Um, and then what we can do is we can go to another area, we can do the same thing again, and then we can try and compare those two areas to decide which has the best environment. And that's how you do an environmental quality survey. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to complete an environmental quality survey for Mile Cross. So what I'm going to do this time, I want you to do it for yourself. So I'm going to give you some different things to consider and I'd like you to have a look at the video and have a look at the different things you can see and consider whereabouts you would, you would rate these different aspects. So first of all, if you have a look around and think about what's the density of the properties? Are they close together? Are they small or are they big? Are the properties badly designed or are they well designed? Can you see maintenance on the properties or do they look like there hasn't been any maintenance, they haven't been looked after? Is there evidence of vandalism or graffiti in the area? Or is there no evidence of graffiti? The next aspect is looking at traffic. Is parking difficult? Are most cars parked on the road? Or do the homes have garages and driveways? Does the air smell heavily of traffic fumes or is there no smell of car fumes? I can tell you it smells quite clean in this area to me. Is there a high noise volume from traffic or is there no traffic noise? Do you think it's dangerous for people to be near this road or safe? Are there gardens? Is there lots of open space? Or, there, or on the other side, are there large gardens and lots of open space outside houses? Are the gardens well maintained? Are they in a good condition? Or have they not been looked after? Is there any greener, greenery? seen. Are there trees, shrubs? Can you see a park or much open space? And finally looking at the general quality, is there a lot of litter or is there no litter? Do you think the paths are well maintained? desirable area or do you think it's an undesirable area? How safe would you feel in this area? Does it feel welcoming or does it feel unwelcoming? When you come up with all your scores you can add them up to compare them to the area that we looked at previously in